so much, Scott. Tonight here on NBC Bay Area, you can watch history in the making as Oscar Pistorius of South Africa competes in the 4x400 meter relay. He is the first double leg amputee to ever compete in the Olympic Games, but his inspiring story has some questioning whether his prosthetic leg may somehow give him a competitive edge. NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau went to the experts for the answer and she joins us now live from San Jose. Marianne. Well, Janelle, the new prosthetic legs are definitely lighter and they're better designed to fit athletes' bodies. But the big question is, once they hit the track, is this going to give them a competitive advantage? Whether he wins a medal or not, Oscar Pistorius is leading the way when it comes to inspiration. Just ask Jeff Turner of San Francisco. He lost his leg in a motorcycle accident and now runs marathons using a prosthetic leg. That's exciting because you need someone to chase. Turner's 10-pound carbon fiber leg is very similar to the one Pistorius uses. They're both made by the same company, Oser. Oh, Lately, Turner says he's been getting a lot of questions from people asking him if Pistorius can gain a competitive advantage using his high-tech legs. He knows from experience the answer is definitely not. At this point, all he can do is get back as much passive energy return from those blades as possible. He can't put in from feet. He doesn't have feet. UCSF's Human Performance Center studies prosthetics used by high-level athletes. The director of the prosthetic center says while blades have improved, they still have limitations. So he has to use musculature around his hip to actually propel himself, whereas the normal calf muscle uses about 250 percent of energy return. The blade only gives him about 80 percent, so he's actually at a major disadvantage. Pistorius may gain less momentum on the track than his competitors, but he has gained tremendous momentum in so many other ways. The disadvantage he has is becoming less and less profound. I mean, I think that's the exciting thing. Now, experts at UCSS say that engineers are working on power-driven prosthetics, and those could give some athletes a competitive edge. Reporting live in San Jose, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News. Thank you, Marianne.